Instead of doing a vlog on cooking pumpkin recipes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I thought today we would cook pumpkin pie recipes for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert. Ooh. So let's get started with what started it all, the pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie so much, as you guys know. Ah, it's gonna be so good. When I go on Google and type in pumpkin pie recipe, this is the first one that comes up and everyone says it's super good. It looks really easy, let's do it. So this is the Eagle brand recipe using the sweetener condensed milk. This is pretty much all you need along with a pie crust. The recipe just calls to mix all of the pumpkin pie ingredients together. However, I saw a hack online by one of the comments who suggested that we heat up the pumpkin and the spices together. First, make sure it's pure pumpkin and not pumpkin pie filling. Just add a full can of pumpkin, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, half a teaspoon of salt. Mix. We'll let it cool down for a little bit. It smells so good. So to this, we're gonna add one whole can of this condensed milk, two eggs. Oh. Pressing it in. It's pretty easy, huh? You just pour the pumpkin filling into the pie crust here. We'll just give it a little shake so everything is even out. Now we stick it in the oven. It looks so good. Okay, now that it's been 15 minutes, we're gonna reduce the heat to 350. I forgot to mention, if you are baking with glass, you do have to reduce the heat. Glass conducts heat a lot more than metal does. 35 minutes later. That looks so beautiful. Wow, it's so good. It's so nice and warm. It's so good. That is so good. So now that we got the actual pumpkin pie out of the way, we'll need to travel back to the beginning of the day to show you what we made. It's time for us to get the vlog started. Starting the day off by grabbing our ingredients for the pumpkin pie recipes for today. Ground cinnamon, pumpkin pie spice, allspice. Need to get cardamom also. Vegetable broth. Here it is. Flat leaf parsley. Heavy cream. Half and half. Now we gotta find some bread. We need one of these. Okay, we just gotta make sure that we got everything on the list. Or I could just buy a pumpkin pie. I'm so excited for pumpkin pie. Hello. I'm happy you're back. The dog is too. Would you like some chicken jerky for dogs? This one. Yes. Okay, here you go. We're back home. I'm ready to start the day off with some pumpkin pie French toast. It's gonna be so good, I think. I haven't made French toast in a long time. I'm excited. French toast that tastes like pumpkin pie? What? I'm sold. We're gonna start off with three eggs. Ta-da! Half a cup of half and half. Quarter cup of pumpkin puree. You need to wipe that down. One teaspoon vanilla extract. One teaspoon ground cinnamon. Quarter teaspoon pumpkin pie spice. Chopped nuts, I'm using hazelnuts because that's what I have. And now we mix. Okay, now we're gonna take some butter. Place on our skillet. We'll stick it inside of the mixture here. Brioche makes really good French toast. And we let it cook for about three minutes per size. Ooh, French toast. Or in France, they just call it toast. <laughs> they probably sneer at that. They're probably like, oh my gosh. Yeah, it looks good. Sprinkle it with some more nuts. The whipped cream got too frozen. We do have maple syrup. Oh yes. Pumpkin pie French toast. It's good, however, 
It just tastes like French toast. I barely taste any pumpkin pie. There's like a hint of pumpkin. Brioche makes the French toast like extra rich and nice and fluffy. But pumpkin pie, mmm. So although the recipe is delicious, I would give it a six and a half out of 10. I think I would still prefer pumpkin pie. Stay tuned because we still have pumpkin pie for lunch and dinner as well as carving that pumpkin. Coming up. <laughs> Guys, I got a new piece of coral. It's a bicolor frog spawn right over there. That's part of the cleanup crew. The snail eating away at the algae in the glass. That's a quick aquarium update for ya. It is lunchtime today. Continuing on with our pumpkin pie theme, we're gonna be making some pumpkin pasties. Cho Chang's favorite from Harry Potter. Okay, so we got our ingredients here. Let's see, we got um, cardamom. We got our pumpkin puree, eggs, sugar, and we got our flaky pastry sheet that we have. Okay, first off, we're gonna make the filling. Let's get our bowl out. Let's get this one. Half a cup of pumpkin puree, cinnamon, some allspice. We need just a pinch of that. A pinch of cardamom, a pinch of nutmeg, one tablespoon of sugar. Okay, next let's take our pie crust over here. So we're gonna have like four. Placing it on the parchment on the sheet. Okay, we're also gonna do an egg wash. So let's get out our bowl. We just need the egg yolk. Two tablespoons of milk, this will help it brown. It's gonna serve as our egg wash. And it's kind of like a dumpling. You kind of just like wet it around, like fold it over. It was like the perfect amount. It looks like a ravioli, a piroshki, or a hot sticker. And then we take a fork. I've never made this before. I don't know what I'm doing. We need to score these so that it can vent, basically. Okay. That was actually surprisingly really simple. We bake it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. And while we wait in my last vlog, I made a pumpkin pie drink and it was so good. I'll put a link in the description below with the timestamp. Oh, they're done. We'll let them cool down before we try them out. It smells so good. It's basically like a pumpkin turnover. I wish there was like cream cheese or something in it. These are good. I mean, I could eat them all day long, but is it better than pumpkin pie? Mm. I would give pumpkin pasties about a seven and a half out of 10. Stay tuned to the rest of the vlog because we still have dinner. Still not sick of pumpkin pie yet. Okay, before we get any further, I gotta work out because we're eating so much pumpkin food today. So I'm gonna head off to the gym. We're gonna hit some legs today. Yeah. So we'll see you guys at the gym. Gatsby for the Christmas merchandise launch, which I will be announcing really soon with everything. I'm also going to be restocking the beanies and the Japanese corgi t-shirts, not the Gatsby ones. I got lots of things planned. Super exciting. Got it. It's all here. Okay, check it out. These shirts will be back in stock. They're very limited quantity. I only got like 10 of each color. This one says Korgi, Korgi in Japanese. We're gonna also be launching this new color. Three, four, five. And we also got our beanies in. Check it out. This is the new color, Heather Blue. So those will be available as well. You guys have been patient, so I thought I would reveal to you a few more things on top of the stuff that I already announced in the previous vlogs, which includes the Christmas sweater here. Ooh. We also are gonna have new stickers. Check it out. Wow. These are satin matte vinyl stickers. You can stick these on your hydro flask and they feel super nice. They also look super good on laptops. Let's add one now. There it goes. Ta-da! Super clean. I thought that I would finally reveal to you guys the first photo, the cover photo for the new calendar. There was so much pressure to top last year's calendar. Ta-da! 
2020 Corgi on Fleek Corgi Dreams. <gasps> I will have to explain to you guys in the next vlog how we got this shot. The calendars are currently being printed. I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering, when is all of this merchandise gonna come out? The whole Christmas merchandise launch will hopefully be all available. <gasps> November 1st. I have so much to do. This is gonna be the best calendar ever. I'm so excited for you guys to see the rest of the photos in the calendar. Gatsby, the world needs saving, but don't worry. It's not a problem for Super Corgi. <laughs> Gatsby, would you like some pumpkin in your food? Wait, 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 wait. Gatsby, wait. Put some pumpkin. It's good for corgis. Hey, go ahead. The pumpkin. We are gonna be making a creamy pumpkin soup with grilled cheese croutons. You can use a pot, but I'm gonna use an Instant Pot just because my Instant Pot has enough room to be able to fit all the liquid inside. Final recipe of the night. We're gonna mince two cloves of garlic, and then we chop an onion. We have to get some butter, one tablespoon of butter, which is around this much, and one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. We are ready. I want let this cook for three to four minutes. So we got the onions and garlic nicely done. One and a half cups of vegetable broth, half a cup of heavy cream, and two cups of pumpkin. Salt! And some pepper. Mix it together. We bring it to a boil and then simmer for seven to eight minutes. While we wait for this, we are going to start on our grilled cheese. Stick some mayo on the bread. Put cheese on top. Okay, I gotta burnt this. Drizzle some olive oil on top. Ready to do some parsley that I cut up. Grilled cheese that didn't burn. Look how beautiful. Here it is, let's try it out. It tastes really good. It feels like a nice warm hug. It definitely tastes like fall. The grilled cheese makes it so good. You can definitely taste the pumpkin too. If I had to rate this recipe, I would give it, I think an eight out of 10. It's really good, it was really easy to make. It's finally time for us to carve this monstrous pumpkin over here. Gatsby, what are you for Halloween? He's a mouse. Duh. We're gonna draw a scary face with a big mouth. Let's do that. Okay, this is the design, Gatsby. What do you think? This is like a monster pumpkin. I got this from um, Costco. Ah, finally, got it. Yeah. By the way, check out our background. Woo! Ooh. We just gotta scrape out everything inside of here. Pumpkin seeds. Gotta clean out the pumpkin. Okay, now it's time for us to carve the face. The pumpkin walls are so thick on this pumpkin. There we go. Oh my gosh. See, look how thick those walls are. <laughs> it's like this pumpkin is huge. Getting a big pumpkin means the walls of the pumpkin are gonna be a lot thicker, which makes it a lot harder to carve. We did it, you guys, check it out! We got this thing in the dollar store. Stick it inside. Gatsby, we did it! Our pumpkin for Halloween! Good boy, Gatsby, we did it. Congratulations, Mickey. That is gonna do it for us for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I personally loved all the pumpkin pie recipes. I hope you guys have a happy Halloween. In the comments below, let me know which pumpkin recipe was your favorite recipe, and we will be seeing you soon. We gotta get ready for the merchandise launch, hopefully on November 1st. See you guys in the next vlog, good night. Hey Gatsby, check out this awesome fan. Gatsby, we're gonna do a haunted house for you today. This year we're gonna do a Stranger Things 